At 651, it's time now for our Monday morning sprint here on Good Morning Northwest. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls in just a minute. But first, here's a look at today's top stories. Right now, we want to give you a live look from Hollinsworth Road in Othello, where there is heavy police presence. We have a reporter on the scene right now gathering information and waiting to talk to a sergeant. Right now, roads are blocked from Hendricks Road to Sage Hill. We'll continue to let you know more as soon as we get that information. But again, we wanted to show you this how heavy police presence right now in Othello. And officers arrested two men last night accused of street racing in Kennewick. Just before 11 p.m., a KPD officer was near West Clearwater Avenue and North Edison Street when he saw two cars at a red signal. On the green light, the vehicles rapidly accelerated and began racing. The officer tried to catch up with the racing vehicles before one of them lost control and crashed into this yard. The drivers, Luis Mendez and Philippe Baca, both 19 years old, were charged with reckless driving. Deputies are looking for a man suspected of breaking into his ex-girlfriend's home and pistol whipping her in Franklin County. Oscar James allegedly forced his way through the front door, assaulted the woman and hit her in the face with a semi-automatic handgun early Wednesday. He left before deputies arrived. James is wanted on charges of burglary, assault and violating a no contact order. He may still be in the Tri-Cities area and he's possibly driving a white 2005 Cadillac DeVille. A 42-year-old man was shot and killed in Toppenish over the weekend. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies say the victim called Saturday afternoon saying he'd been shot by a family member. Deputies found the man in a pickup truck in a field near McKinley and Branch Roads. The suspect was found a short distance from the scene down Branch and was taken into custody. They're investigating the case as a homicide. An autopsy is scheduled for later today. Three people were wounded over the weekend in a shootout at the Fred Meyer parking lot in Yakima. Officers responded early Saturday morning to shots fired near 40th Avenue and Fruitvale Boulevard. Police say 29-year-old Timothy Sutton, 22-year-old Michael Thompson, and a 17-year-old boy were wounded in the shooting. Investigators believe the shootout happened because of a disagreement and wasn't gang-related. No arrests have been made. A Walla Walla man is dead after a crash in Columbia County, and troopers do believe drugs or alcohol were involved. On Saturday morning, troopers responded to the crash on State Route 261. They found a truck that crashed into a rock wall. 64-year-old Pedro Barroso died at the scene. Another man, Pedro Ayala, was not injured. WSP is working to determine who was the driver. Multiple people were arrested for suspicion of DUI over the weekend in Kennewick, including a woman who had kids in the car. Kaylee Morris allegedly hit a trailer near Hood Avenue and Center Parkway Saturday night. Police later found her and a six and seven year old in the car. She was arrested for DUI, hit and run and reckless endangerment. Two other people were also booked for driving under the influence. All this in Kennewick alone. The West Richland man who was burned in last week's fire is in satisfactory condition at Harborview. Daniel Hansf Hansford suffered burns after the fire broke out near Van Giesen and 38th. Three homes were destroyed, displacing three families. Because of the extensive damage, a cause and origin can't be determined. And over the weekend, another fire killed two pets. On Saturday morning, firefighters battled an RV fire off Ballast Road in Finley. The RV was destroyed and the owner was displaced. No one was injured. The body of the Colville pilot who had been missing for nearly a week has been recovered. Terry Coleman was found in Sullivan Lake in northern Penn Oriel County on Saturday. Washdot says he was spotted by a resident. On November 11th, Coleman took off from Colville Airport and when he didn't come back, his family called police. The state's Department of Commerce has awarded money to multiple cities in our area to address affordable housing. Some include Pasco, Yakima, Walla Walla, and College Place. In Walla Walla, the money will be used to determine gaps in housing types and affordability. In Pasco, the money will be used for municipal code changes. Housing action plans will also be created in Yakima. And we're looking at some rain chances to build in today, so make sure to ground the umbrella before you head the road this morning. We're looking at a lot of cloud cover this morning. It's by later on this afternoon and this evening that we will start to see some changes. So let's get you over to what we're tracking right now. Notice just off the coast, uh, that's our next system. We already have some cloud cover to begin your morning, but we'll eventually see some of these rain showers moving in. 
uh, for the second part of your day today. So let's give you a closer look here at the future cast and what you can expect for your Monday. Uh, we will see a few of these rain showers by lunchtime into your afternoon, especially around the Yakima and the Kittitas Valley. A few rain showers will be sneaking into the Tri-Cities as well. A few rain showers overnight into early tomorrow morning. Some of the wet weather will continue through about the midday hour on Tuesday. Still a stray shower by Tuesday evening, but it's really uh, looking to clear things out for your Wednesday. Tuesday into Wednesday, that's when our winds will start to pick up behind the system. After the system starts to leave, we will have some cooler temperatures moving in as well. But it will be nice to be back to some sunshine for your Wednesday uh, after a few of those rain showers start to move on through. Temperatures and our wind speeds right now, I should say, are very, very calm compared to what we had out there yesterday. Some of those winds yesterday between 20 to 30, currently uh, between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we're starting off this morning, most locations uh, with those numbers in the 30s and 40s. So here is your forecast for today. Again, those rain showers will start to develop later on this afternoon. 53 Tri-Cities, 55 in Walla Walla, and 51 for Yakima. A look ahead to your seven day forecast in the Tri-Cities. Again, turning breezy Tuesday and Wednesday as the sun slowly starts to come back out. Temperatures will start to cool down 45 on Thursday with a high of 43 on Friday. The weekend doesn't look too bad. Maybe a slight chance for a few rain showers developing for your Sunday afternoon as temperatures start to go back up near 50 on Sunday. And then that seven day forecast as well for Yakima. A few morning rain showers will linger tomorrow. Other than that, going back to lots of sunshine Wednesday through the end of the work week as temperatures cool down back into the 40s. Thank you so much, Kristen, as always. Thank, thank you for joining us. Do stay tuned as we continue to gather more from that breaking news situation in Othello.